Hello, my name is Velvet, and if you want to learn how to do what you just saw, um, I will show you. So first, I'm just going to duplicate this, and I'm going to just delete some stuff. That is annoying. So I'm going to remove that, and I'm going to remove this. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to make a head pet um, receiver. So when somebody pets your head, you want to close your eyes, you want to be all cozy. This is how you can do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a component and you can just look up um, contact and you'll see VRC contact receiver. So you're going to do that and you're going to see this big blue circle. So you're just going to turn down the radius um, to about like whatever like size will fit in your head. Um, you might want to make it a little bit bigger than your head because this would be like, this means that people will have to put their hands in your head in order to make that actually contact. So I'm going to set that to like 0.1. Um, that makes it so just around like my hair is where like their finger has to be. So if you want to make that a little bigger. If you want to make it a little smaller, that is on you. That is totally your choice. It's not specific to this tutorial. So. The next thing I'm going to go over is allow self. So this means that you only want yourself to be able to uh, make this parameter trigger. So this means that nobody else can do this. Um, and then allow others obviously means that anybody can touch your head. Um, and then local only means it only happens for you. So this is like, this is really only useful if you have toggles that you don't want anyone else to see. I don't, I can't really name any specific toggles that that would refer to but that is your choice so the next thing we're going to go over is collision tags and this means that whatever you set to go inside of this will trigger that parameter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it so the finger index is what has to trigger this parameter so that means if somebody's head patting me their index finger bone has to be touching that circle in order to make it you know go off so Receiver now is um, how basically you want this to work. So constant, I've never really played with any of these. So there's constant and on enter. I feel like on enter would work for something like collision based, like a high five or like a, like a smack. But proximity is what we're basically gonna want here. It's how close the index finger bone is to my head that is making it trigger. So the parameter, you can name it anything that relates to what this is doing. So I'm going to name my pat. You want to make it simple so, so you can like remember. Um, so I already have mine set up, but I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And now it's gone. So you're going to want to go to your FX layer. I already set that to zero. I don't know why it's at one. You're going to want to go to your FX layer um, and add a bool. And you're just going to name it the same thing that you see here. You're going to want to name it the same thing so that these two parameters will talk to each other. They otherwise wouldn't know to talk to each other if they weren't named the same exact thing. So then I'm going to go to my layers and I'm going to name it have a contact pat. So I just like to be organized. I actually named it wrong. Anyways, so you're going to want to set your layer weight to one. And my pat animation looks like this. So I don't want to make, I don't want to remake the animation because it's just too much. But, um, where is it? Called ears down, I think. I lost it. Well, my life sucks. Actually, where did it go? Here it is. I don't know why it's over here. So this is what mine looks like. Um, I have a particle system that activates whenever you're petting my head. It's a little heart particle system. They come out of my head and then they pop and it's cute. And then my eyes will close and my mouth will make like a little oo face. Um, and that's just like a one frame animation. But I also have a reset animation. You don't have to do both, but what you can do is make it one animation and then set it to reverse. But the way I'm going to go over it is I have one animation that's activating it and one animation that's disabling it. So the first thing that I want in this layer is my reset. So that is going to be my default state. 
it's not going to trigger whenever I load into the game. It's just going to do nothing. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in my animation for when my head is being padded, this is what I'm going to look like. So you're going to want to turn right defaults off for both of these because generally you shouldn't be using right defaults. They're deprecated by VRChat and you will have more problems down the road if you use right defaults. So just turn them off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a transition from my ears reset to my ears down and they actually aren't they don't affect my ears anymore. I used to have them like make my ears go down, but the way that my head is, if you touch the top of my head, my ears go down anyways. <laughs> so I'm just going to name this pad reset just so I don't get confused. So I'm going to make a transition from pat reset to pat, and that is going to have the condition of pat is true. So you're going to want to leave this transition duration. You can leave it. You can make it like, you can make it longer or shorter, but I recommend not setting it to zero because you're going to want to actually see the eyes close and you're not going to want them to just jump to eyes closed. So then I'm going to make a transition back, turn off it has exit time and make the pat false. So that will go back to reset and we will just have a great day. So I don't actually know how to test this in Unity other than the Liuma controller, which doesn't do a great job at it for whatever reason, but it's not gonna be here like you're used to or like here like you're used to. It's gonna be all the way down here to user generated inputs. And then you see I have my pat here and that'll make that happen. Don't know why it looks like this. That's something. What broke here? Oh, it's because I have two of them on. Oops. This is my duplicated one. That was my bad. <laughs> I was so confused for a second. But yeah, so I had multiple avatars on my scene and it just made it look wrong. So this is the best way to test it for me personally. I don't know why it does this, but it won't actually turn on all the way. It'll just go and stop but that's fine because I know it's working at least so this one is my nose if you touch my nose I look at I look at your finger and my mouth opens like oh my god you touch my nose and then this one was for an eye poking prevention system um, basically if your finger gets too close to my eye I will close my eye and then whenever you pull it away my eye opens again which I think is just funny but this one is mainly the one that I wanted in the first place is whenever you pat her head, she closes her eyes and she has cute little heart particles. Um, another way, or like not another way, but one thing that I like to do with this is I like to add a tracking control. So if you're petting my head for a good deal of time, you notice that my eyes are closed, your avatar will still blink even if your eyes are closed because it doesn't really know that your eyes are closed. So what you can do is you can add a animator tracking control and you can make the eyes and eyelids animation. Basically what that means is it turns blinking off. It's not tracking and it's not just static. So it's basically only using the animation here. It's only using this. This is what my face will look like. Um, my mouth will still talk because my mouth and jaw are no change meaning that it'll have like just this blend shape overlaying it while my eyes will just stay closed. There will be no blinking. So if you have like, if you have like eye tracking, this probably isn't like what you want because it's more immersive anyways, just to have eye tracking. And this is just like, this is kind of like simulated immersion <laughs> in a way. So this is what you do if you kind of don't have eye tracking, you just kind of add avatar contacts and you make it not blink. But that is how you would do exactly what you saw in the first clip. Um, I set up everything the same exact way. This is how I did it. And this is the easiest way that has worked for me. So if you have any other tips or like if you want to see other tutorials on like the new, new avatar stuff, or if I did something wrong, call me out. You just leave a comment. I won't take offense. But that is what I did to make mine work. And 
I'm excited to see if it works for anybody else. So, have fun.